Hi everybody, I'm Phil Thompson and welcome to this mini lesson video for the 2013-14 South Carolina Junior All-State Required Etude for Flute. I'm going to start off with a brief description of how I played the piece, followed by a performance of the piece itself. Give you some ideas and perhaps you can pick up on some new things for playing the piece. If you haven't seen it already, at the top of the drop-down menu instructional videos on my website www.woodwindperformance.com is also an introduction video to Allstate Band Auditions. All of these are available on YouTube as well. So anyway, I hope you'll watch these, get something from them, and best of luck with your audition. In this Allstate required audition piece, the judge is going to be listening for a light, articulate, clean and consistent style of playing in the mid-range of the flute. The little piece is in two contrasting sections. The first section in F major is rather articulate. First of all, it's marked 126. Don't go any faster. I really tried to hold on to the tempo as I play through this piece, but whatever you do, don't let it rush. The first, it's not particularly hard and in the mid-range and you're nervous, it's going to want to pick up tempo-wise. Don't let it rush. Notice my breath marks. All my breath marks that I took are circled. They're double circled. That's a really important one. I give you some extra ones in parentheses if you need them. I think at 126, if you can play this four bars per breath, I know the judges will be impressed. Do what you have to do to be comfortable, however. So um, decide your breaths ahead of time. Make it musical and stay comfortable. If you can make it four bars per breath, they will notice. Also in this first section, they're going to notice a very consistent articulation, especially all the eighths being the same length and all the quarters that are tongued of the same, uh, that they're consistent of the same length. So ta 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 tia ta 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 ta. Same thing down here, but make all eighths consistent, all quarters consistent. Try to make as much dynamic contrast as you can. It's difficult to do in the mid range of the flute, but a softer soft and a louder loud will be noticed as well. In this second section, beware, this contrasting section is much more legato and it's also in the key of F minor, so watch out for your D flats and your E flats. That's part of the contrast of this section, but this, this part is also obviously much more slurred. And as you slur through here, you'll notice still there are a lot of little rests in here. Rests mean don't play. They don't necessarily mean breathe. Don't breathe at every rest divide it up, decide ahead of time. You can see how I did it, but the judges will take notice if you phrase and connect these notes without breathing every rest. So watch for that. I played this piece in a minute actually two times. First time with no vibrato, the second time with vibrato. With no vibrato, that's okay. I, I put that on there for you because this may be your first time to Allstate Band and maybe you're not playing with vibrato yet. Whatever you do, Keep the pitch up. Keep a fast air stream. Don't let these short little phrases dip in pitch in the mid-range of the flute. They will be listening for that. So vibrato or no vibrato, that's okay at, at the junior level, but don't let the pitch vary. And then, of course, you'll hear me play it the second time with vibrato, and you can incorporate that sound if you want. All right, I think that's about it on this piece. Good luck with your perhaps very first audition for All-State Band, and I hope you do really well. First time without vibrato. <laughs> 